Hey everyone. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing some wild stories that I have from working in a movie theater. I will be keeping some details out because I don't want to get in trouble with the company that I work for because I do love them dearly. So without further ado, let's just get on to these stories. Okay, this first story kind of haunts me in my sleep every so often. So on this particular day, I was working as an usher. An usher is the person that usually takes the tickets and they also clean the theaters. So this man, probably about 30-ish years old, came in with his mom and they were going to see a movie, obviously. So when they came to my podium to hand me the ticket, the guy was very weird and hesitant to hand me the ticket, like he was scared of me. His mom just kept pressuring him to hand me the ticket, so he eventually kind of did. He like reached his hand out toward me, but when I went to go grab them, he like like had a firm grip so I like couldn't take him out of his hand. Eventually though I did get the tickets, I ripped him up, handed him back, told him where to go. As he walked toward his theater, I kind of glanced at him just because, you know, I was kind of scared what just happened. And as he walked away, he drew a cross over his chest as if something unholy happened and I don't know why because I was just a little girl, like what's so scary about me? So anyways, after that happened, Nothing weird happened for like about an hour and then when it was time for me to clean theaters I was just doing my thing going in and out of theaters cleaning them getting ready for the next guests and my theater has like two separate upstairs sections so I was walking up to one of them and when you walk up you just straight up see into that hallway. I walked up and I saw this man on his knees. My cat seriously just did that. Anyways, this man was on his knees, his shirt was off, and he was reciting like a ritual. I don't know exactly what he was saying, but I walked up those steps and I immediately ran down because I just, I had no idea what was going on. So I told my managers obviously about what the heck was happening and then they had to call the police and the paramedics because they found out that this guy was having a bipolar episode and he needed to be admitted to the hospital. The managers had to block off that area because it seemed kind of dangerous. Like we didn't know what would happen with this guy because he was having a bipolar episode. Sometimes bad things can come of that. So we blocked off the whole area to make sure everyone was safe. And that's pretty much it to the story. The paramedics came and they took him and he was gone. And we didn't really hear much else after that because it's not really our business to know what is going on with that guy. So that's pretty much the whole story on that. It was very scary though. Like working in a movie theater, you do not expect to see that when you're just walking down the hall. This one is fun, um, but it also did result in a manager getting fired. It was my first Christmas working at the movie theaters and it was very busy because families love to see movies on Christmas. And obviously when it's busy, we're either sold out or we only have like front row seats left. It's a common thing that people like to pretend that they have a handicap so that they can sit in a handicap row because those are only reserved for people that need it. So we had a little issue with that that day. So a thing that we did at my theater, which I don't know if it's proper or not, but like if the time that the movie was about to start was almost happening and we did have the handicap seats left and someone who wasn't a handicap wanted to see that movie, we would give it to them because we would assume that no one else would come that would need them. But other people came that did need them. So you can imagine that once, you know, those tickets get sold and those people, you know, meet in the theater and realize that there's two seats that they all want, but four of them and they can't all have them. There's a little bit of a fight going on. I was not firsthand experiencing this. I was in concessions the whole time, but I could kind of see what was going on. So I believe that we had like an elderly couple who needed the handicap seats who were sitting there. And then we have the people that we actually sold the seats to that wanted those seats because that's what was on their ticket. And those people who were like probably upper 20s, I think, like they were way younger, um, were arguing with the people who were handicapped and actually like needed those seats and trying to take them from them. It got to the point where we had to call the police because one of the girls tried to like throw hands and punch someone. 
I believe. And um, that's kind of why my manager got fired because he just did not handle the situation good at all. Like those people actually got arrested on Christmas at the movie theater because they couldn't handle that their seats were not their seats. The whole entire seat situation honestly is so confusing to me. I don't know exactly what the logistics of that were. All I know is that two people got arrested because they were angry that they couldn't have those seats. So yeah, that was really fun. Great Christmas. Uh, the urinal explosion. So I was closing this night in concessions and so that means you stay really late and so as we were almost done closing, I wanted to go upstairs to get my water bottle because we're only really allowed to bring those down if we're closing. So as I went upstairs, I like took a glance into the men's restroom because we keep those doors open and I saw like a pile of water on the floor and I was like, hmm, that's not good. So I got one of my male coworkers to go check on it and immediately he ran out just kind of laughing because our urinal was like exploding. So we were just laughing because it's funny, a urinal's exploding, like what are we gonna do? Ah, so I get the phone and I'm laughing so hard, calling my manager. He's not happy with it obviously because that's a big issue, but I couldn't help but laugh. So he's kind of angry that we were laughing. But um, yeah, he had to like put a bag over it or something and stop the water so that it wouldn't explode everywhere but we had probably like two inches of water covering the whole bathroom so we had to try to mop it up as best as we could and that was just it was an interesting way to close off the night oh my god the broken elevator saga we have this one elevator that just always decided to you know just not move get stuck all the time and as you can imagine that sucks, especially whenever customers get stuck in the elevator. So one day, I think two people got stuck in the elevator and it was like a mom, but all of her kids weren't in there. So there were some kids just like screaming, mommy, mommy, come out. And then the mom was in there like, oh my God, my kids are out there. And I think, I wasn't there that day. I just kind of heard about this, but I think that it took like two hours to get the mom out because they had to call maintenance, maintenance had to get there and then they had to, you know, figure out how to get it unstuck. So. That's kind of scary, that's not good. After this whole thing though, our elevator had to be shut down for like, I think like two months. And as you can imagine, a broken elevator is not good when you have people in wheelchairs or unable to walk upstairs wanting to see movies. So the thing that we did, we tried to get like all the movies for like older people, like on the first level. So, cause that's the crowd that normally needs the elevator so that it wouldn't be an issue. But occasionally we would get people that needed an elevator that wanted to see a movie on the top or bottom floors. And we had to deny them because our elevator was broken. <laughs> And that just caused a lot of angry customers and you know me selling tickets as just an employee getting yelled at that does not feel good it's not my fault that the elevator was broken but I mean I understand their frustration but yeah people need to learn to not take their anger out on employees because it's not our fault so yeah that was a very very fun time to work there all right, the final story that I have is just absolutely whack. It was crazy. I was working this night, but again, I was in concessions, so I did not experience it firsthand. But I, from what I've heard, we have like escalators on one of our upstairs sides that go up and down. And there was a fight that broke out at the top of the escalators and a guy got pushed down it and his toe got cut off. He was wearing like sandals or flip flops and at the bottom there's like, I don't know, there's just mechanical stuff on escalators and his toe got caught and it was gone. So, um, yeah, that, that was not, that was not great. <laughs> I don't think that we got sued for it though. Um, if we did, I never heard about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, a toe getting cut off at the movie theaters, what? Anyways, that concludes all the crazy stories that I have to share from working at a movie theater. I just, I never thought I would have those type of stories to share, like it's a movie theater, but I'm kind of glad I do. It's always fun to have crazy stories. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified whenever I post a video. I post every Monday at 3 o'clock, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week.